Hey guys, like, comment, subscribe. We're here today for the start of a new content list. We are doing a top 50 for 2020 for our, all of the 2000s, pardon me, for every sport that we could think of at the moment. We're going to start in the NHL with the goalies. So we're going to have the top 50 goalies from 2000 to 2020. It's not a list based off of just the best goalie to play in that time in terms of let's say a guy was let's say if Wayne Gretzky played one year in 2000 he doesn't get number one because he's Wayne Gretzky so that's the approach we took it's what you did within this time frame so before we get started we have a couple couple honorable mentions I don't know if you want to list off a couple and we'll speak yeah. quickly about why we don't have him in for sure so uh the first one that I, I would love to mention a couple of them really someone like um Patrick Lalimi. Uh, Sean Burke, uh, Manny Legacy. Those are some of the names. Martin Jones, even. Martin Jones was a stud a couple of years ago. These are some names that are pretty, some people would have them pretty high up in their personal list. A lot of people might have them higher for different reasons. It could be fan bias. Um, it could be a lot of different things. The biggest reason for us is just a, not a consistent track rec record across en enough years. That's the only real big thing. None of these guys were resina winners or anything like that um i know a couple of them have a stanley cup during this time something like manny legacy but overall they just weren't able to put together a long enough string of consecutive consistency that yeah. we need yeah and that's just what it comes down to i mean personally growing up as an ottawa senators fan a guy like patrick laleem um he to us was one of the best goalies yeah. of course he did have a couple of debacles especially in his last year but at the same time, he held every record with the Ottawa Senators forever. But when you go back and you look at it, those seasons weren't that good, but he was a stud in the playoffs. You do have to give him that. If you don't believe me, go check out his last, I believe it was 35 games in the playoffs, but 35 playoff games does not get you onto this list. It's deep. Um, and I think that's why it highlights too, a guy like Jordan Bennington, who a lot of fans nowadays, yeah. they're gonna maybe come at this list because Bennington's not on it. The guys played at the the point we're making this list 89 games total in the nhl and he's been a bit above average at best so 90 games at the nhl level again does not get you on this list even with the stanley cup i mean fuck sean burke has a vesna nomination during the 2000s yep. and he didn't get on this list so it was a hard list to make yeah like heck manny legacy um went 37 and 8 one year like these these guys are definitely good goaltenders and if you had them for your time then they would t definitely put up a couple good years, but it's just not, like I said, not a very easy list. Um, out of all the lists we're going to be doing, this probably might be the hardest. It's the most contentious position. It's a position where every single team has a starting goaltender on their team, and almost every team goes, my guy's the best. On any given day, we need someone of this quality to win the game, and that's just reality of the situation. You need someone that's this good even just to compete at this high level, and uh, it, these, these honorable mentions... Um, you're going to go on to see by keeping track of this list, guys, that it's not that we didn't put them in there because they weren't, we didn't think they were good enough. There's just a lot of good players. Definitely. But let us know what you guys think in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe, and definitely check out the rest of the list because we're starting at 90.